information. Uh, and that it hadn't really happened. It was this dreamed adolescence. Um, but then when I saw this photograph over here of uh, Charlie's, um, which is now a uh, capital uh, cocktail bar, uh, the fact that it was really, really people was an underage loser. And she asked him, There it is. <laughs> I had the most amazing pump gigs on Saturday afternoons and, uh, and uh, when I was 15 and 16 going in there I really couldn't believe my eyes and uh, I was stuck in the middle of situations like that. I never realised that there was someone in there taking, taking pictures um, and I think for anyone who was involved, certainly, like, I, mean, I suppose in any aspect of life in Dublin in the 1990s, uh, but particularly if you were involved in the pump scene, to see one of these photographs is absolutely amazing. You would never have believed that there would be a record of it, um, so we're kind of indebted to uh, for that. I think um, in terms of street photography, there are really only, I mean, I, to me, and people can correct me if they want, um, to me you can really count the amazing street photographers, uh, Dublin street photographers on one hand, uh, and I really think Wally is one of those, and I think um, Gary, uh, Gary and Niall deserve uh, a kind of recognition for kind of for getting Wally's images and, and, and putting the effort into kind of producing this book uh, and bringing them to the attention uh, of, of, of people in the city and the country and hopefully uh, that will contribute to, uh, to, to these images being remembered for good. So uh, thanks Gary and thanks Niall for all your help. Everyone else is everyone else too shy to say anything so uh, you've only got me and I'm going to finish now. So thanks a million for coming along. Make sure to buy a copy of the book if you don't already have it. Uh, this is really just a tiny selection. Uh, of what's in it and uh and